Welcome to Collecting My Childhood. Today I will be showcasing Toy Story 2 Crazy Bones from my collection. These were available in 1999 around the release of the movie. This was the first series to have unconventional sculpts like Rex that are barely able to stay upright because of the three points they balance on. There were only 20 characters to collect in this set with six of them being aliens in different poses and eight of them being inanimate objects. I like that Crazy Bones made this series, but I have to be honest and admit that they were lazy with the amount of effort they put in. There should have been way more characters from the movie available to collect. My Crazy Bones lunchbox I showed in the Dragon Ball Z Crazy Bones video is full, so I ended up buying some of these coffin carry cases to store the Toy Story set. They're made of thin, lightweight plastic. They seem cheaply made but sturdy. There are two latches on the front that keep the lid closed. The backside has a clip that can slide onto a belt loop or hang on the outside of a pocket. I was able to fit all 20 bones from this set into one coffin. There looks like there is space for a couple more as well. The coffins come in many fun colors that evoke the 90s. This bone cage came with a lot of coffins I bought. You can pull apart the bars to open the cage. It was meant to display and keep your favorite bones inside. Pressing the bars back together closes the cage up. This one is connected to a necklace. There are other attachment clips and keychains that were available as well. I wanted to end this video by opening a sealed pack of Toy Story 2 Crazy Bones. Each pack comes with three bones inside. I'm hoping to get a purple Zerg or gold badge. I like having colors that correlate with the character's color palette. I like to collect the Crazy Bones foil packs and try to keep them in good shape without tearing the packs when opening them. A sheet of three stickers resembling the bones comes in each pack. I'm happy to have gotten buzz on this one. A character checklist is also included in every pack. I would have liked to see Slinky Dog or Mr. Potato Head. The back side of the checklist gives the rules for two different games. Alright let's see what we got. Well these aren't my favorite colors, but at least I haven't pulled them before. I wouldn't have minded getting more glow in the dark bones. Thank you for watching. 